Good evening, everyone. Um, we're a duo up here this evening. My name is James Juez, and this is uh, Ben Taylor. Um, we're here to talk to you today about Rainbird, which is uh, a very new startup, although originally it comes from a project that Ben started 10 years ago after his uh, AI degree. Um, Rainbird is a, uh, something the world doesn't have. It's a, a new concept. It's a software platform that allows anyone to store knowledge uh, and to really capture expertise uh, in software and websites so that other people can come and easily get that expertise out. Um, we're uh, very pleased to be uh, invited to come and talk here today because um, unlike some of these other businesses that you're seeing in these 10 minute slots, Rainbird is new. Um, it uh, goes to full release in March, um, but we're very pleased today to uh, be opening the doors to it for the first time and announcing our, uh, our first beta. Um, so, um, Sir Francis Bacon, well-known 16th century philosopher, reported as saying that knowledge is power. Um, however, a little bit more recently, Einstein also said, aha, but information is not knowledge. We're all very used to um, collecting information and seeing information everywhere. Um, but actually capturing knowledge, and particularly capturing knowledge in a, in, in, a, in a way that doesn't take you forever and requires super skills, and in, in a way that others can access it, is actually extremely difficult, and it's been very elusive. Uh, knowledge engineering is a field that requires you to be an exceptional software engineer, mathematician, very good at logic, philosophy, language. The skills that you require to capture knowledge in software are pretty hard to come by, and Rainbird's really trying to address that. Whenever I meet anybody and talk about um, Rainbird, one of the uh, questions I get quite frequently is asked, so it's a little bit like Wikipedia. I think you can define something um, pretty easily by what it's not, and Rainbird is not Wikipedia. Okay, you ask Wikipedia a question. Rainbird is consultative. The things you create with Rainbird, you can have a consultation with. Um, Rainbird's also not like any of these other things. It's okay, you can ask Google a question, but it can't ask you a question back. Um, Rainbird has lots and lots and lots of uh, potential applications, but I'm just going to um, show you a short video of just one. Meet Dave. Hello, Dave. Dave is going to have another busy day. You see, Dave is the office expert, and he's always in demand. Dave, Dave, Dave! If only Dave could capture his expertise online, he wouldn't be quite so rushed off his feet or have to hide away behind pot plants. What platform would enable Dave to capture and share his knowledge? Ah, introducing Rainbird. Dave uses Rainbird to build a knowledge base for his colleagues to use. Now, Dave's expertise is available online. And guess what? Dave finally gets to relax. Rainbird. Build smarter software. So this is actually a temporary explainer and a lot less whizzy than some of the other videos that you're going to see this evening. But I, I showed this to a friend of mine last week and she was most concerned that Dave was going to be made redundant by uh, Rainbird. And I had to reassure her that, that Dave's actually quite happy in retirement. But as I said, Rainbird can really do um, a lot of different things. You know, it's designed to um, effectively enable you to build diagnostic tools. You can build tools that plan. You can build tools that analyze. You can build tools that make financial decision, uh, uh, decisions, help people triage mortgages, um, it can be used in healthcare. It's really a platform, and in fact, it's an ecosystem that we're trying to put together to uh, bring knowledge management and expert system design to the mortal man and woman. Um, I'm going to hand over to Ben, who uh, is really the brains behind this project, and he's going to tell you a little bit more about how it works. So you've got a great idea for a tool that you want to build using Rainbow technology. Um, how do you go about doing it? Well, the first thing you need to do is build a knowledge base. And a knowledge base is going to wrap up all your expertise and knowledge in a way that you can use to share with other people. Now, at the moment, to build a knowledge base, you need to use a format called RBLang. RBLang is an XML-based format, so you need a little bit of technical expertise to be able to work with it. 
Um, if you've ever built a website in HTML, then you'll probably get on OK with RB Lang. It's kind of that sort of level. Um, in March time, we'll be launching a more graphical tool so that anybody without any sort of technical expertise can come and capture their knowledge. It will drive you through the process of capturing the knowledge into a knowledge base. So you don't need to be using the XML format. That will still be available. So if you're a development house and you've got lots of knowledge bases and you've got your own software development practices with source control and all of that, you can still use RBLang to capture your knowledge. Once you've built your knowledge base, what do you do with it? Well, you want to publish it in Rainbird. One of the really great and important features of Rainbird is that it lets you link knowledge bases together. So when you publish your knowledge base, you're given the option to decide whether or not you want to make it public. If you make your knowledge base public, anybody else can come along and link that knowledge in with, your, with their own knowledge base. And similarly, you can go and search for third-party knowledge in our marketplace, which we're calling the Rainbird Nest, and link that into your own knowledge base. Now, why is that important? That's really important because that means that your knowledge base grows. It becomes the expert in other fields as well. So I'll give you a quick example of how that might work. Imagine you're an expert tomato plant grower, and you've built a knowledge base that knows everything about tomato plant diseases. And you want to use that to publish a tool so that people can come and diagnose problems with tomato plants. That's great. If you search in the Rainbird Nest, you might find a knowledge base that knows all about climate. Link that in with your tomato plant diagnostic tool, and then all of a sudden, your knowledge base is also a climate expert. And Rainbird can use that new knowledge to help drive better diagnoses for your end users. So you're linking knowledge together. You can also choose to sell your knowledge base through our marketplace and earn revenue from it. So you've built your knowledge base. Now you want to go and expose it to the outside world somehow. You do that by producing what we call an agent. Now there are several ways that you can do that. The simplest kind of agent is an HTML integration, a little line of JavaScript that will allow you to embed an agent into your website, your blog, your intranet, or anything you like. Agents have themes which describe the look and feel, the way that your agent's going to look, and developers can come and build agent themes to also sell in our marketplace. Now, if you've got your own website, web app, or mobile app, or software project that you want to enable with knowledge technology, you can use our API to integrate directly. You don't have to go through the agent route. So how much is it going to cost? Well, the really great thing about Rainbird is it's going to be free for the vast majority of users. If you're building knowledge that you don't mind being in the public domain for other people to link and share, then Rainbird is free. That's really important because it means that we can build a community of people building knowledge bases and sharing knowledge and connecting knowledge together. And when Rainbird connects knowledge together, it's a way of finding answers to problems that the original author didn't know existed. So building out a community of knowledge is really important. If you're using the free tier, then it will also be available for you to use the JavaScript integration and everything that you produce will be branded. You won't be able to use our API. If you want to be working in private, so you've got proprietary knowledge that you want to wrap up so that only you have access to it, or you want to use our API, you'll need to use one of our paid tiered tiers. We've got two. We're calling it Rainbow DJ and Rainbow Developer. We haven't fixed the pricing yet, but Rainbow DJ, which will allow you to work in private, is likely to be about £10 a month. That will allow you to sell knowledge bases. That will allow you to create and sell themes. And that will allow you to integrate into your own websites. If you want to use our API, that will be the Rainbow Developer. That's likely to be about £20 a month. Again, you'll be able to use private knowledge bases, but you'll also be able to use an unbranded agent. You'll be able to use our API. So as Jane said, we're really excited because we're launching our beta today. We have 25 slots available, but they've all gone. So we've opened another 10 exclusively for anybody who's here today, although some of those have already gone. If you're interested in finding out more, you've got some great, a great idea for a tool you want to build, come and see us afterwards. We've already had some really great ideas. We have people wanting to build knowledge bases that will power um, expert diagnostics of, of TV hardware installations. We've got people wanting to build knowledge bases that can power gig recommendation tools. We're really, really keen to find other new and interesting ways that people want to come and use our technology. Come and talk to us afterwards about uh, getting onto the beta list. In January, we're going to open it up to more people. We've got some new features coming um, at the same time as that, which will enable you to be more expressive in the kind of questions that you can ask of Rainbird. And then in March, we're launching an open beta, so it won't be private anymore. Um, at the same time, we'll be launching graphical tools so that anybody can come and build a knowledge base without having to use our knowledge representation format. So that's us.
website is rainbird.ai. Go there, you can sign up to our mailing list, get lots more information, many more use cases. We're on Twitter at rainbird.ai. And that's it. Thank you.